my brother Worth. If you know what's good for you, get back on that train right now. Let go of me. Let her go, Ross. I said, let her go. You boys go on about your business. It goes for the rest of you. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Forget it. All right, break it up. Come on now. So you're going to bring the train this far, huh? We won't let her stay here. Spaghetti, please. Not in my hack. Get out of here, Saxon. You better at scum. Get out of town, you rebel traitor. Get out. Go back to the Julia Saxon. How she can show her face outside the South is beyond me. Where would you like to have lunch, young lady? Why do you suppose she did it? Did what? Why do you suppose she came to Stockton, of all places? Does she think we've forgotten what she did? Are you interested in lunch or not? Jared, how can someone do that? Turn on their own people? There have been spies as long as there have been wars, Audra. But she was born and raised in the North. She wasn't a spy. She was a traitor. Shall we make it the Stockton House? The Stockton House? For lunch. Fine. I'll just freshen up. Saxon out of town on a rail. Nick. Well, I would. Neither would I. Well, you two are in somewhat of a lynching mood tonight, aren't you? Mother, what if it had been Nick or Heath or Jared that Julia Saxon... But it wasn't. It was Matt Parker, so how can I answer that? Now, I can understand how Ross and Worth feel about what happened to their brother. But on the other hand, Julia Saxon has every right to appear in Stockton. Sure she has. If she's interested in starting a riot. 
Well, I wasn't here. I didn't know Matt Parker, but the war's over. Why don't people stop fighting it? That's easy enough to say, Heath. But there are some things people can't forget. And shouldn't. May I suggest we drop the subject? If you'll all excuse me, I've got to get back to town. Tonight? Tonight. Night, Mother. Good night. He was mighty quiet. Well, he was closer to the Parker family than any of us. He and Matt were in the army together. Jared defended him at his court-martial. And he's got just as much reason to dislike Julia Saxon and anybody else. McGregor. How do I look? Fine, fine. How's the house? Sold out. Oh, that's wonderful. I hope so. You're worried. I have been thinking, lass. With so many people feeling the way they do, not that I'm saying they're right, mind, but uh, since they do, maybe you should... Uh... Cancel my appearance. Aye. Huh. Uh, just tonight, or uh, completely? Uh, completely? No. I'm only thinking of you, lass. Meaning you'll pay me for the week, even though I don't appear. Well, no, I could hardly afford that, could I? Well, I don't know, Mr. McGregor. But it doesn't really matter. Because we have a contract, and I intend to hold you to it. You're on. Lass? You kind of go on. Those folk out there are just here to make trouble. I'm going to cancel. You do. And I'll sue you for every dime you have in this world. My happy road 
The answer's oh so clear My hand in yours To tell your heart My happy road is here Poor little sheep Fast asleep, dream that no more need you roam. Why don't you roam out of here? Some kind one will hear you weep. You don't know what weeping Show is, woman. You how Give me a tomato. To Why don't you go back where you came from? Don't you people know she killed Stockton boys? You must have been pretty hungry to come back here. Here's some food for you. Lower the curtain, man. Now she's got it coming. Here's one with love from Matt Parker. Why'd you come back here, Julia? You must have known what to expect, here in Stockton or anywhere else you'd go. Your name is probably one of the most hated there is in the North. You should have stayed where you belong. And where do I belong? In the South. Seems to me you'd be safe there, respected, admired, maybe even loved. Why don't you go back? No. I have every right to be here. I'm not a criminal. All I did was fight for what I believe in. Fight? Call it anything you want to. I'm not ashamed of what I did. Taking the South back into the Union. Why can't they take me? Well, you can't go back to that hotel tonight. I'll take you back to the ranch with me. Put you on a train in the morning. Jared. Don't shut me out. Listen to me. Talk to me. I'll bring the buggy around and back. Jared. I'll go to the ranch with you tonight. But I'm not getting on a train in the morning. say it was an accident. Some people say it wasn't an accident at all. And what do you think? I know he didn't care to go on living. He tried to drink himself to death. 
Could be you just found a faster way. Are you blaming me? Who should I blame? Did you kill anyone in the war, Jared? Yes. Does that make you a killer? Are you to blame, or was it the war? That was different, wasn't it, Julia? The men I killed knew who I was and what I was. You weren't the enemy to Matt. You were the girl he was in love with. And he wasn't the only one, was he, Julia? Six and a pair. That's eight. And it looks like I win. What? Let's see here. You owe me four hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. <laughs> One more game, double or nothing. All right, you deal. Well, well, well. Last I heard from you, Jared, you were gonna work all night. This is my brother Nick. Howdy. This is Heath. How do you do? Julia Saxon. What? What the devil is she doing here? I'm Jared's mother, Miss Saxon. How do you do? There was a little trouble in town tonight. I thought it'd be better if she spent the night here. What kind of trouble? I don't think we have to discuss that now, Nick. Miss Saxon, thank you. All right, now hang on. How'd you get tangled up with her? I don't care to talk about it tonight. Well, Nick. I do. Easy, Nick. Easy, Easy nothing. Woman's nothing but trouble. Matt Parker was a friend of yours, you know. I haven't forgotten. Then why did you bring her here? Because she couldn't go to the hotel and there was no place else for her to go. Now, it's as simple as that, Nick. Let it alone. She'll be gone in the morning. I'll take care of the rig for you, Jared. Thanks, Heath. Jared! Jared! Didn't meet her just tonight, did you? You knew her before. That's right. When? I met her in Washington during the war. Well, now, why didn't you tell us? I guess because I figured it wasn't any of your business, Nick. Good night. Good night, Jerry. upset with Nick. I'm not. Was it bad in town? She was a fool to come here. She must have wanted to see you very badly. You know that's the reason she's here, don't you? Why not San Francisco or any number of towns? Except for you. She's very beautiful. And I can understand how easy it would be for a man to fall in love with her and how difficult it would be for him to forget her. I'd forgotten her. Oh, no. No, no, Jared. You can't forget someone you're running away from. And that's what you've been doing. I'm glad she's here. Now you can face it. Face whatever it is about her you've been carrying with you all these years. Now you can decide if what you feel toward her is love or hate. Perhaps it's neither one. Good night, Jerry. We're not going to Stockton. No. I'm taking you to Grove Junction. Catch a train there for Sacramento. I won't. I'm Julia. Not going. I won't. Now take me to Stockton. 
Can't you see that you're just asking for more trouble? I'm not running away. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life hiding in the South. Help me, Jared. If you hate me so much, why did you come in the gaiety last night? I don't hate you anymore, Julia. I did for a while after I found out what it was you wanted from me. Oh, I never wanted anything from you. It's true. At first, yes. All I wanted was what information I could get from you. But after that night, that night you told me you loved me. Remember? I knew I loved you, too. I knew I couldn't use you. That's when you decided to go after Matt. It was my job. He meant nothing to me. I loved you, Jared. I still love you. I would have come here years ago, but I was afraid. Afraid you'd do what you've done. What you expect? I just forgive and forget? Oh, no. Not forgive. Perhaps not even forget. But to try and understand. I understand. But I can't forget he never would have met you if it hadn't been for me. Jim. You still want to go to Stockton? Yes. All right. Get him. Hello, Fred. Come on in. What brings you out our way? Trouble, Jared. Oh? Tom McGregor's been murdered. Stand for the letter opener from the desk in his office. I've arrested Julia Saxon. McGregor's stage manager, Chet Staley, said he heard Tom and the Saxon woman arguing. Arguing about what? Well, it seems Tom decided he'd had about enough after last night. Told her he was going to cancel her appearance. She demanded to be paid anyway. He refused. Staley said he heard a scuffle. He started for the office, saw the Saxon woman run out. He went into the office. McGregor was dead. Where'd you arrest Julia? Up in her hotel room. She was packing. Did she say anything? Only that she wouldn't answer any questions until she'd talked to you. Now listen, Jared. I want you to forget for a minute that I'm a lawman. I want to give you some advice. As one good friend to another. By now, everybody in town knows what's happened, and they're real heated up about it. As far as they're concerned, Julia Saxon is guilty as sin. Now, if I was you, I would get as far away from that woman as I could get. Any lawyer who tries to defend her is going to be dead in this town. Maybe in more ways than one. <laughs> Staley is lying. You didn't argue with McGregor? I didn't even speak to him. I didn't have the chance. He was already dead when I went into his office. Then why'd you run away? Oh, I, I heard someone coming. I, I thought it might be the killer, and I... I just panicked. When I got to the hotel, I started thinking how people in town feel about me. I knew they'd say I killed him. 
for one reason or another. So I decided to try and get away before McGregor's body was found. You don't believe me. Give me one reason why I should. Lying was my business once, wasn't it? You were expert at it. Fred? Are you saying you're not going to help me? I'll have to think it over. Now, you say you saw Miss Saxon enter the club and go into McGregor's office just as you were coming from backstage, is that right? Yeah. How long would you say it was, Staley, between the time she came in and the time she left? Maybe ten minutes. Ten minutes? Not more than that. Well, let's think about that a minute. I dropped her off in front at five minutes after ten, so ten minutes later would make it ten fifteen when you saw her leave. What'd you do then? Well, I, uh, I looked in there. I. I saw Tom dead, and I went for the sheriff. Now, that's very interesting, Staley. The sheriff told me it was past 10.45 when you got to his office. That's 30 minutes between the time you saw her leave and the time you went to the sheriff's office. What'd you do all that time? I was trying to help Tom. Help Tom? Help him how? He was dead. I wasn't sure of that. Then why didn't you go for Doc Marar? His office is right down the street. Look. I don't have to answer your questions. Oh, yes, you do, Staley. Either now or at Julia Saxon's trial. Now, make up your mind. You get out of here. What are you trying to hide? Get out! All right, Staley. I'll see you at the trial. your mind? Yes, I have. You're going to defend me? That's right. And to what do I owe this honor? The fact that you think I'm innocent? That's the only reason, Julia. And how did you decide that? Well, for one thing, I had a little talk with Staley. I'm convinced that he's lying about something. Are you sure about that? What do you mean? I'm the expert at lying. Remember? Julia, if you have something to say, why don't you just say it? All right. Staley wasn't lying. I killed McGregor. So what are you going to do now? Or do you want time to think about it again? Why didn't you tell me this before? Oh, I was going to try and bluff it through. But I realized you'd get the truth sooner or later. You see, I don't have as much faith in my ability as a liar as you have. Suppose you just tell me what happened. Staley told you, didn't he? He wasn't there. He heard the argument. He saw me run away. And that's all. Isn't that enough? Not for me. Are you still my lawyer? If I get your story. Answer me. Are you? Now you are lying, aren't you? No. Yeah. Oh, yes, you are. You didn't kill McGregor. I did. Why don't you stop it? This is no time for games or some stupid little test to see if I defend you, even if you are guilty. Would you? No. I'm sorry. Silly of me, I suppose. But I wanted you to help me because of who I was. Not what I was. Julia, you'd better settle for what you can get. 
This town was ready to hang you before you ever got here. All they needed was an excuse. Believe me, now they've got it. Sheriff? you, Jared. Friends of yours out there? Well, some of them are your friends, too. Or they want to be. Why are you doing it, Jared? Defending that woman. I'm a lawyer, Ross. That's no reason. Isn't it? Lawyers turn down cases. Nobody's making you defend her. That's true. Well, then why? If I thought it was any of your business worth, I'd have consulted you before I took the case. As it is, you're right. No one is making me defend Julia Saxon. No one is going to make me not defend her either. And that's the way it's going to be? It can be any way you want it to be, Worth. Now listen, Jared. Oh, you listen, both of you. Now, if you're going to remind me that Matt was a friend of mine, don't bother. That has nothing to do with Julia Saxon now. How can you say that? Because she's charged with the murder of Tom McGregor. And not anything she did to Matt. Nobody else around here looks at it like that. Then that's another reason I'm going to defend her. Jared, if you go through with this, you're done in this town. Don't threaten me, Worth. We're just delivering a message from your friends in Stockton, and you'd better listen. Now, you Barclays are big, but the people here can cut you down to size if they have a mind to. Anything else? That's it. If you boys will excuse me, it's late. I've got a lot of work to do. broken window, you know. And why? What for? All right, maybe she didn't kill McGregor. Still no reason for you to go around sticking your neck out. Nick, somebody has to. Are you the only lawyer in the world, Jared? Why don't you bring in someone from the outside, like San Francisco or Sacramento? A man that doesn't have to make his living here in town after that trial's over. I'd like to speak to Miss Saxon, if I may, Sheriff. Well, now, your brother said I wasn't let anyone see her without his say-so. I don't think he meant that to include me. Well, perhaps he didn't. All right. You have a visitor. Just call when you're true. Thank you. What do you want? I'd like you to do something for me. Well? I'd like you to ask Jared to withdraw from the case. Do you realize what will happen if he defends you? Win or lose, he'll have made an enemy of everyone in town. 
His law career will be ruined in Stockton. Does Jared know you're here? No. I didn't think so. I'm sorry, Miss Barkley. I, I can't do what you ask. You destroyed Matt Parker. And now you're going to destroy Jared. Don't tell me you're worried about insulting him after the things you've done. I'm sorry. I didn't come here to say things like that. Miss Barkley. I don't want to hurt Jared. As hard as it may be for you to believe, I never wanted to hurt anyone. Not Jared or Matt or any man who may have suffered because of me. Then why? You have to understand what it was like. Particularly in the early days of the war. People went back and forth across the lines. It was hard to believe there was a war. Especially if you were the kind of person I was. What kind of a person were you? Very young, very poor, and very, very ambitious. I didn't know what the war was all about, not really. I didn't know and I didn't care. It just seemed stupid to me. And then one day in Richmond. A young Confederate lieutenant I knew invited me to a cotillion. It was in the most beautiful home I'd ever seen. And I met people. Rich, famous, poor people. There were men there who could make me a star. What they asked in return seemed so unimportant. How, how could the bits and pieces of information I might get help them or... or hurt anyone else? By the time I knew better, it was too late. The war was almost over. There was no turning back. No undoing what I'd done. So I... I did the next best thing. I tried to lie to myself. Pretend that I worked for what I believed in. Now oh, I, I, I can't even do that anymore. You told Jared this. I never told anyone would have been the point. I explain something. It, it doesn't excuse anything. And it doesn't change a thing. Sheriff? Miss Barkley. If you think Jared will withdraw if I ask him to, I will. You're right. He wouldn't. And I won't ask him to. Thank you. Jared. Hello, Fred. Working late tonight. Yeah. Glad when this trial's over. I think we all will. Good night, Fred. Good night.
The sheriff found you this morning. Town, livery stable. Who did it, Jerry? I don't know. They wore masks. Real brave boys. <clears throat> I gotta get out of here. Not for a while yet, I'm afraid. I got a murder trial. You can get a postponement, Jerry. No, 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 no. It starts Monday. This is London. <sighs> Sleep now for a while longer. Come on. Mind telling me where we're going? If Jared thinks Julia Saxon is innocent, that's good enough for me. We've got a couple of days to stop her from being railroaded. What if the trial is postponed? Oh, it won't be. Not with old Judge Crawford on the bench. Why? Because he lost a couple of sons during the war. Jared thinks that Staley is lying about something. I think it best we find out what. Let's go. show up right here. Why don't you check the stable? All right. Hi, Heath. We heard what happened to Jared. When? Before or after it happened? Or you don't think we had anything to do with it? Listen, we've been friends with the Barclays since long before anybody even heard about you. So? So, I'll bet Nick and Jared know better. Well, I don't know about Jared, but Nick's right inside. Why don't you ask him? doing here? Good afternoon, Mr. Staley. You, uh, had a talk with my brother the other day. What about it? Well, he, uh, he got the distinct feeling that, well, you weren't telling the whole truth. Uh, well, I just thought I'd best stop by to see if I got the same feeling. You get out of here. And you know something? I do. Get out! Even without talking to you, I do. You see, my brother Jared's a lawyer. Well, he has to more or less mind his manners. I mean, he could never uh, force you to talk. But I don't have to worry about that. You killed McGregor. No! You're lying. No! Killed him. Why? They got into an argument over Julia Saxon appearing here. Worth told Tom to get rid of her the next time she tried to sing. He'd burn the place down. Tom got mad. He told Worth to get out. Worth started shoving him around it. They got into a fight and Worth stabbed him. You saw him? Ross said him and his brother would help me buy the place if, if I forgot about it. Just then we heard Judy Saxon coming in and we've got the idea of putting the blame on her. Well, we're gonna go see the sheriff. <laughs> Mr. 
Nick. You know what Worth did? I know. You're not going to use that gun in here. Folks would hear it. And you kill him! You all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm all right. I'll get the sheriff. but you'd already left. Did you get my note? Yes, I got your note. I guess there isn't anything more to say, is there? Where are you going, Julia? Back to the South, where you said I belong. Why did you come, Jared? I couldn't let you leave without... without telling you how much I wish things could have been different. I wish things could have been different, too. Four. Goodbye, Jared. Goodbye, Julia. Delilah, you! Get out of here! 
this town. Go back where you belong. We don't want you here. Do you hear? Traitor. Get out. Do you hear? Get out. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Get out of our town. Because you're not going to fight. We don't want you. So just get back where you were, traitor. You don't belong. Murder. We don't need you. We don't want you. Excuse me. I'm Ross Parker. This is my brother Worth. If you know what's good for you, get back on that train right now. Let go of me. Let her go, Ross. I said let her go. You boys go on about your business. It goes for the rest of you. Thank you. I get it. All right, break it up. Come on now. So you're gonna break a train that far, huh? We won't let her stay here. The gaiety, please. Not in my hack. <laughs> Get out of here, Slackson. Get out of here, Get out of Julia Saxon. How she can show her face outside the South is beyond me. Where would you like to have lunch, young lady? Why do you suppose she did it? Did what? Why do you suppose she came to Stockton, of all places? Does she think we've forgotten what she did? Are you interested in lunch or not? Jared, how can someone do that? Turn on their own people? There have been spies as long as there have been wars, Audra. But she was born and raised in the North. She wasn't a spy. She was a traitor. Shall we make it the Stockton House? The Stockton House? For lunch. Fine. I'll just freshen up. Where'd you get nervous? I don't need to get down. You don't belong here. Get out of here. 
where you came from, you Delilah, you! Get out of this town! Go back where you belong! We don't want you here! Do you hear? Traitor! Get out! Do you hear? Get out! We don't need you in this we town! We don't want you! We better get back up on that train Get out of our town! town. Because you're not going to play We don't want you! So this get back where you were, traitor! Murder! We don't need you! We don't want you! Excuse me! I'm Ross Parker. This is my brother Worth. If you know what's good for you, get back on that train right now. Let go of me. Let her go, Ross. I said, let her go. You boys go on about your business. It goes for the rest of you. Thank you. I get it. All right, break it up. Come on now. So you're going to bring a train this far, huh? We won't let her stay here. The gaiety, please. Not in my hack. <laughs> Get out of here, Saxon. You better look scum. Get out of town, you Julia Saxon. How she can show her face outside the South is beyond me. Where would you like to have lunch, young lady? Why do you suppose she did it? Did what? Why do you suppose she came to Stockton, of all places? Does she think we've forgotten what she did? Are you interested in lunch or not? Jared, how can someone do that? Turn on their own people? There have been spies as long as there have been wars, Audra. But she was born and raised in the North. She wasn't a spy. She was a traitor. Shall we make it the Stockton House? The Stockton House? For lunch. Fine. I'll just freshen up. if they ran this Julia Saxon out of town on a rail. Nick. Well, I would. Neither would I. Oh, you two are in somewhat of a lynching mood tonight, aren't you? Mother, what if it had been Nick or Heath or Jared that Julia Saxon... But it wasn't. It was Matt Parker, so how can I answer that? Now, I can understand how Ross and Worth feel about what happened to their brother. But on the other hand, Julia Saxon has every right to appear in Stockton. Sure she has. If she's interested in starting a riot. Well, I wasn't here. I didn't know Matt Parker, but the war's over. Why don't people...